These are a few of my favorite things. A good book is the precious lifeblood of a master spirit, embalmed and treasured up on purpose for a life beyond. I'm Kevin from Vsauce 2, and my favorite book is A Confederacy of Dunces, the Pulitzer Prize winning classic comedy by John Kennedy Toole. It follows quite possibly the most offensive in behavior, grotesque in appearance, and generally unlikable protagonist in all of literature. Ignatius J. Riley is a flatulent man-child with an outdated worldview and an unpopular notion for what he considers taste and decency. He contrasts this mountain of flaws with an uber-educated mind and a passion for social equality. Tool uses Ignatius as an unlikely spokesman for the foibles and contradictions mankind boasts regardless of race, creed, or class. The relationships that carry this lampoon of humanity are cemented by each character's eternal struggle for respect and appreciation. Basically, the book shows us how absurd humanity looks as it insists on taking itself seriously. He then weaves his unique tale into a Larry David-esque story web where each character is interconnected, and no one person's actions are spared in affecting the outcomes of their neighbors. It's literary curb your enthusiasm. In the end, the most personal and heartbreaking aspect of reading Tool's Crescent City Greek tragedy are the unavoidable connections between Ignatius's personal struggles and his own. Tool was seemingly writing for no one, and he spent two years trying to publish this book before taking his own life. And Ignatius feels a similar burden. Ignatius's mother, frustrated by seeing her son waste his education by writing for no one, sums up his work as some foolishness nobody never gonna feel like reading. Ironically, Mrs. Riley's defeatist sentiment is precisely why we should read A Confederacy of Dunces. Being able to relate to Ignatius's feelings of isolationism is where readers either find great humor and enjoyment in the misadventures, or find themselves left out on the grand joke within its message. From my experience, people either really love it or they don't get it. Maybe it's better to be unable to relate to the truth and pain of this hilarious book which had me laughing out loud countless times, but I'm glad that the world has it for those that do. I've read it three times now and this copy was given to me by a fellow intern at Late Night with Conan O'Brien when we were talking about our love for comedy. The best comedy teaches us a little bit about ourselves, each other, and our places in society. A Confederacy of Dunces is the pinnacle of just that. Go read it. Ah! Now, seriously, it's the best.